Hi, uh, good evening. I'm going to record an uh, exercise um, about uh, creating a new flow that will send messages to ActiveMQ. This exercise is actually uh, uh, derived from the chapter one, from the book of Mu in Action. So I, uh, I'm reading this book right now. Uh, the good thing about uh, this book is uh, it has all the information in there. It has source code as well, but but it doesn't really talk about active MQ. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the active MQ website and we're going to download the active MQ software. And uh, so click on the link below. So you download. Once you've downloaded it, uh, extract it to a location. For me, I extract it straight to my C drive. Yeah. And once you extract it to your C drive, this is this is actually your ActiveMQ home. You need to copy this link because we're going to set the environment variable for an ActiveMQ home. The next thing to do is to open up the my computer. Yep, go to um, advanced go to environment variables uh, click on the uh, I've already set the activeMQ so this is how the, the variable name look like and this is the path so once you've set this click OK and then go to path In the path you need to set the activeMQ home and then slash bin and end it with a semicolon once that is done, just click OK and you're done setting the environment variable. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch command prompt. Uh, the reason we're going to launch the command prompt is we want to start the ActiveMQ. So what you do is just type ActiveMQ space start. And what this would do is it will start the uh, ActiveMQ server and once the server is started you will be able to browse to the website the uh, console for ActiveMQ so this is uh, this is how the console looks like this is the console URL okay this is localhost uh, which is an own uh, laptop or environment and this is how the web console looks like if you have any questions regarding uh, installation and running of ActiveMQ, please post your comments uh, on the video below and I'll have a look about it and try to answer your queries. Next, we'll go and build. Next, we'll install the ActiveMQ and uh, have verified that it is working via the web console. What we're going to do is we're going to follow the book to build an application. That looks like this a meal flow that looks like this so starting from scratch would uh, go to the file new start a new new project using the same product registration name then from here you click next let's click next and finish so you, once you have created a product registration, what you need to do is you need to add the jar file as well for, for it to be able to send messages to uh, the uh, any uh, the ActiveMQ. To add the, the jar file, go here, add external jar, then click on ActiveMQ. Okay, bye, okay. Just to verify, you see you have an ActiveMQ reference library. So to start, we're going to start with the HTTP endpoint. We're going to define uh, the 8081. We're going to use uh, Postman to test uh, to test the queue messaging. 
I've shown you how to use Postman in the previous tutorial. I'll put the link of the previous tutorial in the description of this uh, video. So let's call the uh, products. Now I have products and just click save. Next thing to do is to add a byte array to string. Maybe the string, add that in, don't need to do anything. You need to add by array to string because you want to put it into a queue. Then you add a JMS uh, character. First time you define it, just put it as a queue. You name the queue as product. And then you choose active MQ. Just leave it as default. Uh, notice that the, the console that we go to has a, has a web browsing port and this is the port for ActiveMQ. So don't need to change anything here. Click OK. Click Save. Now once all this is done, in the book there is a JSON uh, message payload that you can use. We also add a logger. Let's add a logger. The logger just put in a new expression language. Now, just start the uh, uh, project. Start the new flow. Wait for it to show an indication that it has been successfully deployed. Yep, it's been successfully deployed. Open up Postman. I'm going to use this. Use what it's been defined in the book. this post to products click twice click send if you look at the active MQ refresh this page notice that uh, there's nothing in the queue there's nothing in the queue now when you go back and to the postman and you click send Change this to post, post to products. This is the payload that we are going to post in. Now that you have successfully posted this in, when you go back to the active MQ, refresh this page again, you're going to see how you've submitted a, a queue message. Name is product. That's the information of the queue. That is the message detail that you have posted in. This is how ActiveMQ looks like. This part of it is not shown in the book. So I'm recording a video for you. Hopefully you find this helpful. And this is an introduction to posting messages into ActiveMQ. My name is Kian. Thank you for watching.